Lesson 12, Basic Functions. To follow along with this lesson, you will need to create a new empty console project and add a new file named main.cpp to it. A function defines an independent code block that can be called on to execute. In this simple example, the main function calls the function f. When the program executes the call, the execution jumps into the block of the function f. When the function's code block is done executing, the execution returns back to the main function. Like variables, functions have a defined scope, and the rules that we define for the scope of a variable work the same for functions. However, we can separate the declaration and definition of a function like this. The declaration in this example begins the scope of the function and gives advance warning to the compiler of the type of the function to expect. Separating the declaration and definition allows us to reduce the scope dependencies. In this example, the function declarations at the top allow the main function to call g and g to call f without having to be concerned about the order of definitions. Functions can also take variables as inputs, like this. These variables are called arguments. Here we have a function which takes two int arguments and tells us the relationship between them. In this program, we call the function twice with two sets of arguments. Notice that we only needed to specify the type in the declaration. However, if we want to, we can put the names in as well. Functions can not only take arguments, but they can return values as well. This simple function returns the value 2. The return type is set here. Notice that in the previous functions we used a return type of void to indicate that no value was returned. In addition to changing the return type, we used the keyword return along with the value 2. We can also have functions which take arguments and return values. This function returns a bool to indicate whether the past an argument is less than 3. Notice that the function has two return statements. When the execution hits a return statement, the function ceases to be executed, and execution returns back to the function call. We can also use return statements to exit early from a function with no return type. In this example, we have one output statement before the return statement and one after it. The first line is executed, but the function returns before the second one is executed. The program flow looks like this. This concludes the lesson.